An apostolic constitution Latin, Constitutio Apostolica, is the most solemn form of legislation issued by the Pope. The use of the term constitution comes from Latin constitutio, which referred to any important law issued by the Roman Emperor, and is retained in church documents because of the inheritance that the canon law of the Roman Catholic Church received from Roman law. By their nature, apostolic constitutions are addressed to the public. Generic constitutions use the title apostolic constitution and treat on solemn matters of the Church, such as the promulgation of laws or definitive teachings. The forms dogmatic constitution and pastoral constitution are titles sometimes used to be more descriptive as to the document's purpose. Apostolic constitutions are issued as papal bulls because of their solemn, public form. Among types of papal legislation, apostolic letters issued motu proprio are next in solemnity. Topic. Introduction Topic. Generic constitutions contain the following introduction Pope name, Bishop Servant of the Servants of God For an everlasting memorial, eternal memory, etc. Topic. Examples of apostolic constitutions Topic. 16th century Quo primum 1570 Pius V's Apostolic Constitution on the Tridentine Mass 19th century Ineffabilis Deus 1854 Pius IX's Dogmatic Constitution on the Immaculate Conception of Mary Ad Universalis Ecclesia 1862 Pius IX's Papal Constitution dealing with the conditions for admission to religious orders of men in which solemn vows are prescribed Romanos Pontifices 1881 by Pope Leo XIII 20th century Bis Seculari Pope Pius XII on Sodality of Our Lady Munificentissimus Deus 1950 Pope Pius XII's A Dogmatic Constitution on the Assumption of Mary Exil Familia 1952 Pope Pius XII's A Constitution on Migration Veterum Sapientia 1962, Pope John XXIII's Apostolic Constitution on the Promotion of the Study of Latin Dei Verbum 1965, Pope Paul VI's Dogmatic Constitution on Divine Revelation Lumen Gentium 1964, by Pope Paul VI Pinitemini 1966, Pope Paul VI's Apostolic Constitution on Fasting and Abstinence in the Roman Catholic Church Missal Romanum 1969, Pope Paul VI's Apostolic Constitution on the Revised Liturgy Romano Pontifici Elegendo 1975, Pope Paul VI's Apostolic Constitution on the Election of the Roman Pontiff Utsit 1982, Pope John Paul II's Apostolic Constitution raising Opus Dei Latin for the work of God to the rank of a personal prelature similar to a diocese, but grouping people by some peculiar pastoral reason instead of by where they live Sacrae Disciplinae Leges 1983, Pope John Paul II's Constitution instituting the 1983 Code of Canon Law Pastor Bonus 1988. Pope John Paul II's Rules on the Reorganization of the Roman Curia Ex Court Ecclesia 1990. John Paul II's Rules on Catholic Universities Fide Depositum 1992, Pope John Paul II's Apostolic Constitution on the New Catechism of the Catholic Church Universi Dominici Gregis Pope John Paul II's Rules on Electing the Roman Pontiff the Pope 21st century Anglicanorum Coedibus 2009, Pope Benedict XVI's A Rules for Providing for Personal Ordinariates for Anglican Laypeople and Clergy Wishing to Enter into Full Communion with the Catholic Church Voltum Dei Quarieri 2016, Pope Francis' Rules About Women's Contemplative Life Veritatis Gaudium 2017, Pope Francis's Reform of Pontifical Universities and Faculties Episcopalis Communio 2018 strengthens the power and influence of the Synod of Bishops. References Citations Sources <references> <references> 
Topic Hules, John M. A Theory of Juridical Documents Based on Canons 29 to 34. Studia Canonica, 1998, Volume 32, Number 2, pp. 337 to 370. Beale, John P., James A. Corydon, Thomas J. Green. New Commentary on the Code of Canon Law, commissioned by the Canon Law Society of America New York, Paulist Press, 2000. 